welcome again to the Brand Ambassador series. Well, uh, this is a blended scotch, it's not that often, with Tom Lewis and Uskava. Am I saying it right? Uskava, correct, Uskava. yes. Tom, thank you very much for being Absolutely. here. Absolutely, thank you for having me. Well, um, it is unusual. It is. We should be drinking a blended scotch whiskey every day. Absolutely. Sometimes we don't <laughs> because we had too much when we were maybe uh, younger. <laughs> um, but with, with Uskava, you bring in some, some letters of, of class in the Scotch whiskey, Absolutely. The blended Scotch whiskey world. So we are. Please tell us everything about it. Well, um, Uskaba is the water of life. That's what it means. Um, Uskaba is Gaelic for water of life, and Uski is Gaelic for whiskey. It's probably the first most, I think, out of, that's the first recorded name for whiskey is Uski. Um, our company, um, as has already been mentioned, is all blended Scot uh, Scottish um, whiskey from the Highlands. Um, we've got three different lines here. We have our reserve line, we have our 15 here, and we have our old rear. Um, each are complement each other um, in a lot of different ways, and there's a lot of different ways in which they, they're completely different. We're bringing it right back to New York, right back to the way it was in the late 70s. When you say New York, not just New York. Not just New York, but it's all over the Northeast. But right now, primarily, we want to increase our presence here in New York, New Jersey, Long Island. It's but we remember seeing this many, many years ago yep. in New York. This, yeah. is, this is an icon. If, if you went out um, drinking blended Scotch whiskey, yeah. You were looking for Uskaba. Oh, it's very much recognized still, um, more by the older crowd. Um, I would say between the ages of, let's say, 50 to 65. And mm -hmm. what, what I would like to do is, is to continue providing the product to that, to that age genre, as well as introducing it to a younger age genre. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's something that anyone can like, um, as the product has such a story behind it. Um, and it really packs a wonderfully beautiful taste. If you have to describe it, is it um, a smoky blended Scotch whiskey? I wouldn't go smoky, no. Um, Is it more like a, a Highland in general? Does it have a, a, a heart of Speyside in it? You could Can say you it. Tell us which are which are the the single malts that are kind of put in there together. Or? Um, well, uh, we have all of our all of our own single malts in in this product here, um, and I would say there's a, you can get a little bit of peat in there. But in this in general, um, it's, a, it's quite a sweet finish to it, a long sweet finish. Um, you'll get hints of pineapple, macerated fruit, and raisin in there. But I wouldn't go as far to say as it's any, any of the products are very smoky. Um, I think that you'll get a sense of a shallow taste in the highlands, not as far up north where you're going to get a bit more of that smoky flavor and a little bit more of that peat flavor. All right. What about this boy here? This is our reserve bottle. Um, and this is a wonderfully international sale. Um, it's been going wonderfully off the shelves in Japan. Um, it's aged 16, and seven, 16, 17, and 18 years. Um, and with this product, you're going to get 85% malt, 15% grain. That's a very high ratio of malt versus It is. Grain. Um, this is actually the most authentic ratio we have um, to the origination of the company, believe it or not. Uh, even though that the old rare is our oldest line, we've brought this bottle back because this was exactly the way that the bottle was first bottled. The, the, this was the same ratio when it was originally bottled back when um, Mr. Grieger added a portion of the grain for the first time um, to make it a blend. Um, so that's why we're really proud of this line. It really holds our heritage, it holds true to our heritage. Um, and really keeps uh, a lot of our values intact with this with this part of our line here. Would you say that this is your, your everyday? Uh, I would say this scotch? is definitely your more everyday scotch. Um, it's a wonderful scotch to actually introduce to someone that's a novice scotch drinker. Um, I've introduced this product um, at a couple different events for myself as well as events um, for the brand. And it, it's a wonderful product to start someone out with scotch and it's mm -hmm. too well to introduce them to our company. It's a bit on the milder side for our line, but it kind of gets them gets their palate a little warmed up to try our other two products, which I think definitely are a bit more complex and a, a, a bit more uh, multi-layered. Well, it's good to know that you're doing your quality control at home uh, <laughs> every day as well. <laughs> if, we, if we have to discover the heart of, of the brand, do you say that this is the... Uh, I, would, I would absolutely go with our old rare, All right. for being the heart of our brand. Um, now this, this is special. It I mean, is, it is. And um, the reason that we have it in porcelain is really simple. When the company first started out, it was in porcelain decanters. And the reason for that being, 
Um, glass back then at that time was a rather expensive process. Um, it was more expensive and newer than porcelain was. Um, so I think when, when we saw the, the decanter um, coming from 12 stone flagons and, and then went to the historians to find out that that's the way it was since day one, we decided that it would, it would do us no good to change it. And um, it, really, it really shows who we are, um, who Uskaba is, our heritage, where we came from. And, and yeah, it looks great on your shelf at home. It does. <laughs> it, it really does. does. It's gorgeous bottle. It gets nothing but, but great feedback. When it says old rare, what do you mean? Um, I think, you know, considering that uh, it's, it's an old brand, this is, our, this is marketed as, you know, our first line. Um, this, is a re this is the original recipe that we have, our first recipe that we have. And it's a, rare, it's a rarity to have a bottle like in this form and to have a taste as delightful as this. Um, not only that, but um, when Uskaba started with this and brought it to America, it was a rare product. Um, it wasn't, you know, it didn't come overseas with, you know, a huge following. You know, 12 Stone Flagons really did a good job of, of, of increasing its presence, and then we, we've taken over from there. Um, when, you say, when you say the recipe, uh, what am I going to find when, when, when I taste it? In this, it's <laughs> this has 40 different malts and two grains, which is, which is a complex process for the whiskey master. Um, it, it, it is a pretty complicated taste, and you'll get it when you taste it. Um, but well, the beautiful thing about it is it's got a nice spice, but it's not too much. Um, you'll get some hint of pepper and tobacco in there, which, which I think the pepper definitely comes out. Um, and it, you'll get a nice long finish um, in the back, and it's, it's, it's terrific taste. Lovely. Let's, let's check it out. All right. Um, do you have any preference on where you'd like to start? Well, you tell me. You know what? I'm going to start you out with our 15 year, right? Because this this is this is wonderful to start out with. This will kind of neutralize it, and then we'll finish strong with this, which has. If we have to taste two, if you have to taste two, I'm going to give you the 15 year, and the old rare, just because. Lovely. This is more of an everyday, as we already went through. Uh -huh. I want to give you something a little different, and these are definitely different products. So, because we're not going to taste it, is it something that you um, you put on the rocks? Is it something that you you may also use in a cocktail? What what would what do you think? I mean, of course, it, it, it's absolutely up to your preference. I think that this particular um, Scotch whiskey is really good neat. Um, I think it's it's so smooth. It's 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 when I say it's mild, I don't mean that it, it had, lacks any taste. Mm -hmm. it, it has a delicious taste, um, and it's it, I don't think that it's it, it's uh, enough of a of a taste though that you need to have an ice cube or water. I think you can take this neat. Uh, um, you see, um, this is not every day that we are told that um, easy blended scotch whiskey. That one is, it truly does not, is. Does not require ice. And it's good to know because it means it's not that violent and it's not that young that it doesn't require. Absolutely, I totally agree. Um, but now moving on to the 15 year. Right. Um, this is gonna be, if you do like single malts, this is something worth trying if you wanna give a blend a try and you like single malts. This is gonna have 15 different 15-year single malts blended together. Um, this is my favorite out of the line, just personally. Um, it is uh, absolutely beyond smooth taste. Um, linear, but also it, it gives you a number of different layers of taste. Um, it's a wonderful experience. Um, let's start you out with the 15-year. With the and look at the color of it, because this is the It does have a see, gorgeous color. The, yeah. The, the, the color from it. A bit of a copper in there. Um, is it, is it mostly ex-bourbon barrels on the maturation? Is there a sherry cask in it? Do we, uh, can, can, it can that be revealed? Um, we, we do keep that to ourselves. Um, <laughs> but um, yes, I, you might get it in the taste, and I'm sure, actually I'm sure you probably will. We'll see. All right. Thank you. Sure. I'll join you. Please. Yeah, it has, a, it has an gorgeous nose to it. So. I'm, I'm really getting a lot. It's so rich on the oh, nose. Absolutely. Well, Wait till you try this. It's got an even, it's got an even I'm more. Keep it on the side yeah. and let it breathe a bit. And I'll go back, go and back forth. to it in, a, in, in just a minute. Yeah. But you got me quite excited. Now, yeah. And I love tasting these. And you do these. need a corkscrew. Yes. Just let me explain to you how the bottle works. Um, as it is porcelain, the first cork that's in there, it comes packaged in there, is going to easily come out with a corkscrew. Um, once that's out, you no longer need to hold on to it. You can if you'd like. 
Um, but we also package a, uh, an easier to use to open and close and also better looking for your shelf um, top to our decanter. Beautiful. So that comes with all of our bottles as well as a nice plastic uh, nice cylinder. So everything's very securely packaged. Um, so here is our old rare. Um, now just to, to introduce you to another uh, fact is that we have another fourth bottle coming out within the next six to 12 months. Hmm. It'll be also be in a porcelain decanter. It's something to keep your eye out for. And it's going to be a non-chill filtered scotch whiskey, yeah. blended scotch Tell whiskey. Tell us a bit about that then. Um, well, it's in the making right now. Uh, we definitely want to keep the, we're going to do, we're going to keep the recipe exactly the same, but we're going to try and infiltrate the, we're going to try and take an approach with a non-chill filter. Um, it's, I, I personally love non-chill filtered blended scotch whiskeys. Um, I think it's definitely worth something to, it's definitely going to contribute to our line. And I think it'll, it'll if it'll complement this as well as the our other products. As it provides a little bit more of a Very authentic the, the, taste. The, the connoisseur is always looking for that. Absolutely. So please do take a Thank hold you. of that nose on, on the old rare. Are you not having one? Oh, of course I'm having one. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Now the nose on this is is mind blowing. Wow. It's delicious, and I think you can you can get a sense of of what the taste is going to be like mm -hmm. just from the nose. Um, it definitely has a bit of a spicier um, aroma to it. Um, it's got. I think it it definitely. It definitely hits um, hits the nasal a little bit a little bit stronger a little bit faster. Um, I do get a sense of spice in there. I don't know if, if you do. It's, it's, a, it's a bit spicy, but there's a great deal of vanilla, of honey. Mm -hmm. It speaks sweet to your nose as well. Very engaging. Yeah. Very, very appealing nose. Now, how much are we, are we buying this uh, for on the shelf in the, in the liquor store? Well, um, we got a great differentiation on our price points here. Um, our most reasonable price point being our reserve mm -hmm. um, at just under $40 a bottle, front line. Um, now this, this all is obviously, um, you know, this differentiates according to the liquor store you go to and the location oh. that it's in and what they're trying to do there. Um, but I don't see anyone putting this up for more than 40. Um, our, our 15 year will go for anywhere from 65 to 70 and our old rare from uh, 115 to 130. 